Hello everyone, my name is Krista Dawkins and I'm the head teacher at Cressford Community School. This is our school dog Woody, who's based at the Shakespeare campus. Say hello Woody. And on the Sherborne campus we have Sherbert. So Crestwood Community School is one school over two campuses. We serve Central Eastleigh, but we take from over 20 different primary schools. We've been oversubscribed for the last three years and in 2020 we actually had to put an extra class on to accommodate everybody that had put us as first choice. Both campuses now have equal numbers of students and we are rapidly becoming full. I've been the head teacher at Crestwood for the past 14 years and I absolutely love my job. I'm not going anywhere, I'm committed to this school and this community. Over lockdown we excelled, providing online live lessons from the get-go and also providing free school meal boxes for our community. We call ourselves the Crestwood family and that's because we are, we are a family. We genuinely care about every single person, whether it be a parent, a child, a member of staff. We are truly a community school. Your child can excel at this school regardless of their ability. We have children that go on to Oxford and Cambridge University. We have children who come in with dyslexia who go out and access A-level courses. This truly is a comprehensive school, something for everyone. I hope that the videos that we've put together give you an insight of what we do at Crestwood. We are doing open morning tours on a priority need. So please do contact Justine Sayers, my PA, and she'll be able to organise these in small bubbles around the school. We're operating the tours right up until the end of this half term to give people the opportunity to come and see what we do. I know that Crestwood is an outstanding education provider. I look forward to meeting you and your child very soon. Steve Gibbs, Head of School of the Shakespeare Campus at Crestwood Community School. Welcome to our campus. Hi, I'm Verity and this is The Crescent. Down by the end of the crescent, you can find the extension block that includes maths and history. Hello, welcome to maths. I'm Miss Ward from the Shakespeare campus, and you're going to love maths at Crestwood. Hi, I'm Yvonne Scott, and I'm head of maths here at Crestwood. I'm incredibly lucky to have a team of experienced, qualified maths teachers who all work hard and really enjoy what they do. I know some of you are really good at maths and enjoy it, and some of you enjoy it but perhaps find it tricky. Whatever you think of maths, I know you're going to really enjoy it if you choose to come to Crestwood. We have extra things we do for students who are really, really good. For example, Harry, who's currently in year 11, He's already done his GCSE because he's really gifted. And so at the minute, he's working with Barton Peverell to start doing his A-level. We also have lots of things that we do if you find maths tricky. We'll give you lots of help and you will make lots of progress. Hi, I'm Eve and this is the English department. Hello and welcome to English. I'm Mrs Holdaway and I'm the Achievement Leader for English at Crestwood and with me is... Uh, I'm Mrs Nicholas and I am the Assistant Achievement Leader or one of the Assistant Achievement Leaders and I am based at Sherbrooke. We have 13 English teachers in the English department at Crestwood who will make you feel happy and confident in English. We are always here to support you and encourage you to be the best that you can be. If you have any questions or you would like to come in and speak to us, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you. Leaving frantically out of its path right and left. And at the end of the street, it went crashing right through the wall of an enormous...
this is our amazing science department. There are loads of incredible experiments to do. How these cells are specialised, they've got a large watch. Very, very good. Okay, so what is the name of this process that we have been learning about all lesson today? What's that process called where water moves into cells? Body, what's it called? It begins with an O, where water moves into cells. What's the process called? Os osmosis. Nearly there, Should Jack help him out? Osmosis. Excellent, well done. Osmosis, brilliant, okay. Good. So, you should have those. Hey everyone, I'm Mr Neil. I'm the Head of Science Faculty here at Crestwood Community School. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our amazing science faculty. So on the Shakespeare campus we have five amazing refitted modern labs, all the latest equipment, desks and chairs, all ready to, for you to arrive in September. Science at Crestwood is a mix of theory, so a huge amount of knowledge to learn and memorise, but also practical work, experiments, investigations and discovery combined together to give you that whole science experience at Crestwood. In Key Stage 3 you'll have three lessons a week and in Key Stage 4 you get four lessons a week. So lots of time in science to really dig deep and truly understand the subject. Key Stage 3, we teach AQA uh, Key Stage 3 curriculum, which covers topics like biology, chemistry, physics, but called in different names like reactions and organisms and genes and earth. Uh, in Key Stage 4, we teach AQA GCSE uh, combined science, and we also offer triple science as well for those who really want to push themselves and get those best GCSEs they can. We also offer amazing science club activities during normal, normal times, so we offer science club activities like astronomy club and general science club. And we also run a huge STEM program where we do trips to Geneva to see the Large Hadron Collider. We also go to New York, Florida. We've done all of those trips. So hopefully when things get back to normal, we'll be able to resume those trips and get you all on those amazing, exciting adventures. Science results have been consistently strong over the last few years, particularly in triple science, with 80 or 90% getting uh, grade seven or above in some cases, but 100% getting grade five or above, which is really, really something we're very, very proud of. And in combined science, we're also very, very strong. We also get a zero progress eight score in um, this subject, which means on average, everyone hits their target. Here you're going to see one of the science teachers, Miss Luxton, demo an experiment that we use to teach about chemical reactions in Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4. How amazing was that? That got up to 3000 degrees C, hot enough to melt through an entire car engine block. You can still see the glowing iron nodules at the bottom of the tray. My name is Mr. Tapazio. So here in the EVAC faculty we study geography, history, ethics and philosophy, French and Spanish. And it is all about the study of people, the past, our beliefs and the places in which we live. Now let me take you on a tour of our faculty. Hello and welcome to the history department. History at the Shakespeare campus is taught by Miss Olden and Miss Shaw and over at the Sherbourne campus is taught by Miss Newman and Miss Babel. Sheila, can you please tell us how you have summarised the progress in this period? Okay, so I've put medicine's progress through the Renaissance period because some might think making waste disposal and cleanliness um, has changed. King Henry got rid of slaughterhouses in the towns for this reason. On the other side of the spectrum, ideas and actions towards medicine um, have regressed as the population grew to see the start. Hello and welcome to the Ethics and Philosophy Department which is coordinated by Miss Machen across both of our campuses. In Year 7 you will study Belief in Britain as well as um, Buddhism. In Year 8 you will have the opportunity to study many different religions which encompasses the A to Z of religion. And in Year 10 you will have the opportunity 
uh, to opt for uh, religious studies as your GCSE option, where you'll study many different religions, as well as ethical concepts such as medical ethics and crime and punishment. Je suis content. Je suis content. Bonjour and welcome to our Modern Foreign Languages Department. Here at Questwood you can choose to study either French or Spanish. Our languages team is made up of Mr Grover, Mr Whitby, Miss Andweza and Mr Tully. Hello and welcome to the Geography Department here at Crestwood. Geography is taught by five specialist teachers, myself, Miss Upcott, Mrs Kelly, Mrs Lance and Miss Machin. Um, we have a wonderful opportunities available to students in terms of field trips, taking students into the local area, to the, uh, the local river and also into Southampton. And we also have amazing opportunities where students previously have been able to go to places such as Iceland and to Italy. Hi there, um, welcome to Crestwood. Uh, I am Mr. Russell, I'm one of the assistant head teachers, but I also have the privilege of leading our PCA faculty, which is Physical Creative Arts. Okay, so there's a load of creative subjects that go on. So we've got a really vibrant program in art, in drama, and in music. And you can see just behind me, just one example um, of the physical side of Crestwood in terms of RPE. Um, and there's a real commitment at our school to a broad and balanced curriculum and, and making sure that any young people that come, um, you know, come to Crestwood have a real opportunity to study a wide range of subjects. Um, we do performances, we have competitive teams. Uh, you must have heard of our steel pans. Um, you know, if you haven't, they are an absolute joy to behold. So, PCA, creative, sporty, okay, all of those things. If you come and visit us at Crestwood, hopefully you'll have a chance to see more of those in action. So, hopefully we'll see you soon. Well done for breathing during that. Okay, what did we find out about our script last week? What was it all about? What was going on? Ami? Um, the different statuses and the different characters. Good. Who can remember who had the highest status? Which character? Or Char, if we will, Mikey? Character 4. Character 4, the highest... If you enjoy art, you will love our fantastic art department. Welcome to Crestwood and welcome to the Technology Faculty. My name is Mr Burke, so I want to show you some of the fantastic things that the Technology Faculty does. Our focus is on innovation and we're all about developing the skills for the students to take into the real world when they leave. This is one of our rooms, this is a textiles room led by the fantastic Miss Dewey. Students in here are learning for the first time how to use sewing machines. Okay, once they're skilled up on sewing machines, they'll be able to use this to make a whole range of different products. They'll be able to make drawstring bags, they'll make pillows, uh, they'll, they can even, if they choose as an option, go on and look at fashion design and the way that works. Moving into one of our workshops, Students here are doing woodwork, however during their time at Crestwood they'll have the opportunity to use a whole range of materials including metals and plastics. 
Food technology is a massively popular subject. Students create a wide range of dishes. In year seven, they start with the basics of how to make bread and cakes. Don't forget to end your statement with a uh, yes. Welcome to Learning Support. Here at Presswood, we aim to support all our students to enable everyone to achieve their full potential. I like going to Learning Support because it gives me a space to calm down and it gives me a space to do my work if I'm struggling. The teachers are really supportive and they enhance your progress to be a better student. and as you can see, due to new COVID regulations, social distancing rules have been implemented in each of the lines. What advice would you give the new generation of our Crestwood family? I would say um, consider yourselves really lucky that you're coming up to a school that gives so many new opportunities in creative departments, in academic departments. I'd say it's a really wonderful school and the teachers here are really lovely. We've nearly been here for five years. How have you changed during that time? Well, you obviously know that in year seven I was really shy, but Mrs. Dawkins, the head teacher, gave me encouragement and I actually was able to sing in front of the school. Yeah, Miss Dawkins is a really good head teacher, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. Hi, I'm Lottie and I was a bit nervous for my first day of Year 7, but honestly there's nothing to worry about. Hi, I'm Dan and for all you Year 6s out there, you're going to love this school, it's amazing. I love this school because of the PE lessons and all the lessons and all the teachers are really nice. I love this school because the uniform is really nice and makes me feel like an adult with the tie. But obviously I'm not wearing it now because we're doing PE. And I love the school because it makes me feel really at home and um, I can be silly, and but I still focus and it's fun. Hashtag Crestwood Family! Hi, I'm Tegan and it's my first day today and I love it.